Hi, I'm Phil and welcome back to my channel. Now Ducati have just unveiled the new Diavel for 2023. In this video, I'm not only going to show you and tell you about the new bike, but I'm also going to show you the adventures that I had on the Diavel 1260 when I borrowed one from Ducati London back in the summer for a long weekend. Now as always with me, there's always a backstory. So without any further ado, let's get on with it. If you watched my last video, you would have seen that I created images for Dynasty London as part of a social media campaign. The images caught the eye of DJ Supreme UK, who invited me out for some food and a chat. This led to a photo shoot a few weeks later of Supreme on a Triumph Speedmaster. Now, Triumph Official shared these images globally on Instagram, which is fantastic for us. In June, Supreme was invited to Lady Wimbledon's summer tennis party, and he kindly invited me and a few of his friends to come and join him. Not only did I not know what to wear, I also felt that my Speed Triple wasn't the right bike to create the impression we wanted to make. So a conversation with Ducati UK and Ducati London led me to borrow in a black and steel Diavel 1260S, and it certainly did the trick. Howard & Co attire kindly gave us all a rather dapper look with the suits and Head and Workshops gifted a couple of helmets. As you can see, having the Diavel parked at the end of the red carpet really did create a stir mainly from guests who wouldn't normally be interested in motorcycles. There was one guest I started chatting to who obviously had an interest in bikes, especially Ducatis. William Story, who is the owner of Rich Energy Drinks, and he was keen to try the Diavel for size. Before I tell you more about the bike and take you for a ride, let me show you this really cool video that Lady Wimbledon has allowed me to use, which was taken from the event. I'm so tired of playing, playing with this bow and arrow. Give me a reason to be 
keen to put some miles on the bike and see how it would handle. I've heard mixed reports about the Diavol, some saying it's like riding an armchair, and others saying it's boring to ride. Well, in my opinion, it was far from boring. I was actually surprised by how much I liked the riding position, and the low seat made it easy to ride around town and in the London traffic. There was plenty of oomph from the 1260 engine, as you would imagine, and although the rear tyre is incredibly wide, the bike handles really well and you can push it into the bends and country lanes. It's certainly not just a straight line machine. visitors of this channel would have seen my best friend Eliska, also known as Twinny. Now her husband Matt absolutely loves the look of the Diavol, so how can I not invite him over to take a close look and take him out for a pillion ride? Needless to say he was absolutely smitten with the bike. What do you think? First official ride and it was incredible. Oh my days. I can't <laughs> stop grinning. <laughs> so the Ducati Diavo is the bike that you would one day like to have. This is my dream bike right in front of me. <laughs> Sweet. And oh my days. That evening, I decided to go to Sunny South End and I asked my friend Nao if she would like to join me. Now Nao loves photography as a hobby and takes a great shot She's also a dab hand in the garage with a spanner. While we were there, I couldn't resist taking a few shots of Nao's Royal Enfield 350 Classic, especially as the light was so nice. fun chatting to Naya and passers by by filming and photographing this bike and Naya was kind enough to help grab a few shots of me and the bike. Now normally I'd have to set the timer to 10 seconds and then leg it so it really was a big help from Naya. The Yarvel really is a head turner and over the weekend, 
I had quite a few people throwing compliments its way. So Monday morning, I returned the bike to Ducati London, admiring the sights on the way. Overall, this bike is without a doubt a cruiser, but it also packs a mighty punch and handles incredibly well. But what didn't I like about the Diavel 1260? Well, to be perfectly honest with you, there's nothing I can think of. At first, I wasn't too sure on the colour scheme, especially the two-faced look, black on one side and grey on the other. My friend owns a 1260S in red, and I was convinced that this was the perfect colour scheme that really suited the Diavel. So what about the new Diavel V4? Going by Ducati's press release, there's so much that could be said about this bike. But I'm just going to pick out a few of the main features and changes which stood out to me. now adopts the 1158cc V4 Gran Turismo engine, which derives from the Decimus Sodaci Stradale featured in the Panigale V4 and the Street Fighter V4. It creates 168 horsepower at 10,750 RPM. As you know, I've ridden and reviewed the Street Fighter V4S and absolutely loved it. I've also ridden the Panigale V4S and the Multistrada V4S, both of which I'll be showing videos really soon. Apart from the change of engine, the most standout change to me is it's now missing the trellis frame. Now I know a lot of Ducati Monster fans still haven't forgiven Ducati for making that change to their favourite bike. But the new Diavel is now 13 kilograms lighter than the 1260S, thanks to the different engine and the new lightweight aluminium frame. It's also worth me mentioning that the Diavel 
is almost 100 kilograms lighter than the Triumph Rocket 3, which is incredible. Now take a look at the new rear light, which has a honeycomb design to it. Now this looks totally different to anything else I've ever seen. I was a big fan of the rear end on the 1260S, but saying that, I don't dislike this new look. Also check out the new quad exhaust, which will really grab your attention and look really menacing. The riding position has all changed. The foot pegs have moved back and the handlebars have moved 20 millimeters closer to the rider, which Ducati claim make a much comfier riding position. Seat height is 790 millimeters, which is 10 millimeters higher than the previous model. It has the 50 millimeters upside down fully adjustable forks and a fully adjustable rear monoshock suspension which also has 15mm more travel. Again, this is meant to help with comfort. Stopping power is courtesy of Brembo, which I think we all love. As you would expect from Ducati, it's packed with riding modes, electronic aids, cruise control and an up and down quick shifter. I could reel off a really long list of the technical features on the new Diavol, but you know that's really not my style. I just can't wait until January 2023 when we hit the dealership showroom floor for us all to go and have a good look at. So how much is this bike going to cost? Well, the Diavol V4 starts at £23,595. So what are your thoughts on the new Diavol V4? As always, please leave a comment and get the conversation started. Now, if you like this video, then please subscribe if you haven't already. And all of you, please hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on my next video, which, all being well, it's going to be about the Panigale V4S and I cannot wait to share this. Thanks as always for watching guys, take care and I'll see you in the next video very soon. Subscribe, like and comment.